Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of After 5 Outdoors. If you've been watching the last few weeks, you know that I've been up on the Rainy River chasing lake sturgeon. Now the Rainy River connects Lake of the Woods and Rainy Lake. And in the springtime, thousands of anglers flock to the Rainy River to chase sturgeon and walleyes. Beautiful fish. Now on my first trip up to the Rainy River, I was with Marshall and John from Lake Road Lodge. Now we got out on the Rainy that day, Marshall had the hot hand. We were targeting sturgeon and Marshall got a 54 incher within just a couple hours. Now Marshall switched to his walleye rod and me and John were still targeting sturgeon. Marshall ended up catching a 60 inch sturgeon on a walleye rod. Now I came up with the goose egg that day, but I learned a lot of information on how and where to fish lake sturgeon. So I couldn't wait to get back up on the rainy. So the next week, I contacted my good friend Daniel from Livin' MN Outdoors and my cousin Jake, and I told him to get up here, let's go chase sturgeon. Now the week before my trip with Marshall and John, when I was putting my boat in the water, I found the fuel pump went out on my main boat. So I had to bring that down to Bemidji for warranty work. So I pulled the Alumacraft out of storage, got her set up, and we headed up to the Rainy River. So after we cruised down the river, we got to the spot where I wanted to fish sturgeon and realized that someone, I won't name who, forgot the worms back at the landing in the truck. So we decided rather than go back, we were five, six, eight miles from the landing. We just decided we were just gonna target walleyes that afternoon and go after sturgeon the next day. Now there's a lot of debris that flows through the Rainy River, a lot of deadheads, stuff like that. We weren't fishing very long and Daniel thought he was hooked up with a log. But after about 20 seconds trying to free his lure, he realized he wasn't hooked up with a log. He was hooked oh, up with a log down. with fins. Eight pound mono, or uh, plural. So if you've ever been sturgeon fishing before and you've caught a sturgeon using a sturgeon rod and sturgeon tackle, you know that it's a battle. But if you've ever caught a sturgeon on eight pound fluoro and a walleye rod, it's really a battle. Daniel did a really good job of playing this fish. This battle was really fun to watch. Now we had a muskie net with, and I've netted many muskie over 50 inches with it. But when this fish surfaced the first time and ran, I didn't think my net was going to be sufficient. Luckily, there's a couple other guys sturgeon fishing real close to us. They were watching us battle this fish and they offered us their net. Now this fish surfaced once and then he dove back down and we didn't see him again for almost an hour. It's big. It's big. Daniel battled this fish for an hour yeah, and 42 minutes. I don't either. I see the head. Can you bring him up a little bit more? Bit more. When we got this fish up to the boat oh and gosh, into the net, it was a huge relief. Oh, there he is. Yeah. No way. <laughs> no way. Okay, I'm going to need some help here. Yeah. What do you think that is? I don't know what he's picking. You want it in? You got him hooked in the Once fan. we got this fish in the net and got him in the bottom of the boat and started working on getting him out of the net, we noticed this fish was tagged. He's tagged too. Nuh uh. Yeah, he's tagged. Now, the DNR tags these sturgeon for research. And if you call in all the information, they'll tell you when this fish was tagged and if it had been caught before. Now it was really cool to see that this fish was tagged in 2014 and it had also been caught once before. It was really fun to see Daniel <laughs> battle this fish kinda, just for kinda, getting a picture. Kinda, oh. <laughs> oh, come on, don't let him fish. It's all muscle. Jeez. We got a couple pictures. We got this fish back in the water and watched him swim back to the depths.
And a huge congratulations to Daniel. His first sturgeon was 64 inches long. Okay, yep, go ahead. Thank you very much. Thanks for playing. Nice job. Holy smoke. <laughs> well, that was pretty much it for this trip. We fished the rest of this day and the next day I blew a hook up on one, but that's pretty much all we saw. So we loaded up and we headed home. I wanted to get back up on the rainy and try catch a sturgeon. So I called my buddy Scott and the next week we went back up to the rainy river. Now I had my kingfisher back, so we got back out on the water, went to a sturgeon hole and we started fishing. The first day was really tough. Scott caught a few small sturgeon and some suckers and I never even had a bite. But we were up for two days. We went back out the next morning. The river was raging and the river was dirty. But after about three hours, the drag in my reel started singing. I got a hook set on this fish and it felt good. Now I battled this sturgeon for about eight minutes and the fish jumped three times. There he goes. <laughs> three jumps, that's a But after the third jump, what I was scared was going to happen, happened. Scott caught a couple more small sturgeon and a couple more suckers, and I had one more opportunity to make it happen. My drag started singing, but I could not get the hook set. So basically, we ran out of time for this trip. We loaded back up again and had to head home. But I guarantee you, I'll be back on the Rainy River and I'll get my sturgeon. Thanks so much guys for watching this video. If you've never been out after sturgeon and you have the opportunity, don't let it pass you by. It is an absolute riot. Until next time, I hope you can get out and enjoy God's great outdoors and we'll see you on the next one.